Hello everybody, welcome back to Minecraft on the Block, the Taggarts. Uh, we got a lot to do today, so I'm just going to jump right in. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of kind of showing you guys what I've been working on, some cleanup work that I've done, and then we are going to do um, some nuclear reactor work today. I'm super excited about that, so I've been working hard. The prep work that has gone into this is, is unbelievable. I spent a lot of time. So um, I want to just point out, you can kind of see I've got two solar panels on the roof now and I kind of reconfigured I was going to go show you um, because I was running out of power pretty quick this oh by the way this was done by one of those uh, big green freaking ogre things drives me insane they they did all of this just beat the crap out of this wall so that's I, I finally moved everything inside um, so that was one thing that's been going on um, I reconfigured the uh, the solar panels, tried to get more energy because I've been doing a lot of work, and so I put the solar the the bat box directly up, put the solar panels right next to it. It definitely helped. Um, I also tried to put a windmill up there. I didn't have any luck with that. I think I just wasn't high enough, but I wasn't getting any um, anything out of the windmill. In fact, it's right here. So I just haven't I haven't done anything with that. Um, I also just got done doing a lot of mining because you will not believe how much uh, material it takes to build. A, a nuclear reactor so we'll get into that in a little bit um so what else did i want to show you oh yeah so i got some scaffolding up just because i've still been working on this i actually went ahead and put um well this is this new thing is a compressor um and this is something we'll talk about a little bit when we get into building the nuclear reactor but um i put diamond uh whatever this is optic wire down here all the way so that I could get the most efficiency out of these. Um, there's actually a an ohm meter or whatever it is. I don't know what, what the measurement is, but um, let's see if I can find it quickly. I, I've got so much junk and it's not organized at all. I need to go through and organize this, but yeah, I may not be able to find it. Yeah, that's all right. We'll look later. But um, Anyway, it, it'll let you basically test to see how much electricity is coming out or how much of how much power is being generated by a wire or whatever. So that's very handy to have. Um, you can see that I put up all the lights. Um, I, I've got these lights up, but I also have the lights all the way around. And this is one of my favorite things. So I, I also kind of sealed this off so it looks better. This is the start lava, down for off, clear lava is this button. So I just kind of... I kind of set that up a little bit nicer and put a door over here so we can get in and check it out so and I, I moved that button over here or the lever over here so you can see that we've got a little bit more compact layout um, I also could show a little bit of the wiring this is the wiring for the lights that are in the wall right and then this is a switch this will actually turn these off but I just wanted them on all the time and I didn't want the switches showing so there is a way to turn them off but I didn't want it to be uh, to be showing and then I got to show you this because I think this is the coolest thing. This again, this red power mod is unbelievably cool. Um, but so these wires, right? So if we look here, I've only got two layers right here, right? And normally to hide redstone wiring, you would have to have at least three layers because you'd have to have the, the middle layer to have wire running through. Well, I only have two layers and I really only needed one because what I can do, well, you need the top layer it, unless you wanted to put plates on top but what I can do is the wire is all running right here and it looks like it's just regular cobblestone blocks but what it actually is is cobblestone panels so I'm actually hiding the wire which is running on the top block with these cobblestone panels which makes I mean just unbelievable the possibilities of, of what you could actually do so I place that panel and then it's just there so I put up a, a glass roof here. Did a lot of work here, right? So I got got all my lighting in place and everything's pretty cool. I put some lighting on this just so that it looks cooler at night and so that it keeps this lit up so we don't get things spawning in here. So yeah, so been been doing a lot of work down here. So another thing I did was I created this, which is the Chernobyl 2 nuclear reactor. It's actually not here yet, but you can see I put up green lighting because I thought it would be good for effect. And this is the reactor room. And we're going to put the reactor in here. Now, we're going to have a lot of work to do, and I'm already down to 10 minutes, so we're just going to get rolling. But I wanted to show you. So let me just kind of walk through this. I have a lot of pieces, and the, the, I, I haven't actually constructed the reactor. I constructed the reactor chamber, all of the coolant cells, the generator, the reinforced glass, all this junk. Uh, oh, here's the EU reader. Um, this is what 
tests electro uh, the the power that comes out of something so we'll look at that but i wanted to show you guys the final construction of the reactor but i also wanted to mention how crazy it is um to build a reactor so i'll go through at the end what actually goes into this but if you think about it it's so much more than just i mean it looks like oh you just need a couple of reactor chambers and you know and a couple of these advanced alloys but what it takes to actually get the advanced alloy and the reactor chamber and the advanced circuits and all that i actually listed out all the materials and i'll, I'll read that off at the end so anyway let's uh let's get started so i kind of wanted i didn't even bring a table down here let's go get a i was going to bring a crafting table down so we could actually do the building down here so we might as well just take this one and let's see really quickly I know I'm running really low on time I don't know what I did with my there we go crafting guide that's what I wanted so this will kind of give us an idea just to show you guys a little bit of, of what we've got going on um, this so let's let's pick Some glass. Yeah, not glass. That's not what we want. We want something that'll get us to. Uh, there we go. A circuit. Electric circuit will get us to an advanced circuit, which will get us to a reactor. So a nuclear reactor, you need two reactor chambers. Reactor chambers need integrated reactor plating and integrated heat dispersers. Integrated heat dispersers, you need copper ingots and advanced circuits and coolant cells and all this stuff. So you, could, you get the idea. I mean, it's just crazy. But what we finally came up with was a nuclear reactor. And so I'm going to put that down. Go ahead and get all of my stuff out of here. And I also got reinforced glass and reinforced stone, which will be very useful for us. So I think, actually, I think I'm going to need at least two of these cells. I'll grab a few of those. All right. So to do this, I'm going to do it the simple way. I'm just going to use the, the crafting table too, but you can see that it takes two of the... Uh, the reactor chambers i built a, an additional one so that we can actually use that and then four of the um the advanced alloys and the circuits and blah 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 right so i'm going to go ahead and grab the nuclear reactor and i'm going to put it right there and then what we want to do is actually build a three by three by three container for it and i'm going to actually go offline and do that real quick so that we don't waste any time and i'll come back in just a minute when i have that built and we'll talk about the next steps i will be right back all right i'm back and here we are so i should mention that this so this is this is reinforced stone and this is reinforced glass and it's very tough but this is really just for show because this will nowhere near withstand a, a nuclear reactor explosion in fact to truly withstand it you need four wide on all sides of this <laughs> so we didn't build this to be but we don't plan on it exploding in fact we really don't want it to so we're going to run it reasonably um, but we'll talk about that and kind of how to make sure it doesn't explode and then we'll probably have it explode anyway so what i'm going to do um, i think i'm going to put the reactor chamber i think I can do this my plan was I want to put the reactor chamber down first but I don't think I can without putting the actual reactor down so I think I have to put the reactor down or put yeah put a cobblestone down put the reactor down and then get rid of the cobblestone and then put the reactor chamber underneath it now what that will do is give us normally a reactor would only have this it would have three by nine i think one two three four five six three by six and it adds an additional six having a reactor chamber you can have six reactor chambers and each one of those would add an additional six slots here and we'll get into what those are used for and how that all goes but what we want to do now is put some water in here and that is going to be one of the keys and i'm not sure how this is going to work so we're just going to start by in fact i think we want I want to make sure that it doesn't pour out although I'm gonna to have to be inside I'm not sure how this is gonna work we'll see let's uh, let's get it going so there's one so basically what you want to do is you want to make sure that every piece let's see whoops this is not this is not gonna go well I can tell already so we'll want to let's see let's see if I can get this working you basically want every corner to have let's see there's one there's one let's see if we can get out of here before we drowned 
and then we'll uh, block this off. There we go. So what I'll probably do is put another piece of stone. I have some. So we still have two corners back here that we need to fill, but I think those front corners. So let's go get another bucket of water. So while I'm doing that, um, the the amount of materials that this takes, just to give you an idea, and I, I, we won't go through like all of the different recipes. I'm actually, there There was a, a guy named, I think it was Bad Ash, A-S-H, Games or something like that, um, that, I, that I watched after I had already gone through and built everything and figured it out. I found this guy, and he had some pretty cool uh, video that showed how to actually make every single piece. Um, and I'm just going to put a link to the description in the description um, to his stuff because it's better than what I would do anyway. I just, I don't have the patience for, for that level of, <laughs> of detail on this. So what I, what I did, um, I just went and built each piece kind of just as I went, figured out what, what I was going to need and then, um, added up at the end. And I'm not sure how accurate this is, but I think I needed 52 refined iron, 48 bronze, 96 tin, 184 copper, 24 rubber, 24 redstone, eight glowstone dust, eight lapis lazuli, and eight iron. That's, that's the raw materials that it took to make just the reactor. That doesn't even count the additional um, reactor chamber or all of the additional junk that I put in here. So this is going to be very interesting. Okay, so so we now have a reactor. That's the, the core of what we need. So to get it running, the next thing we need is we actually need a uranium cell. Now we could get a near depleted uranium cell, and in fact we could actually get eight near depleted uranium cells, and we'll make a breeder reactor later on. But to start with, we we don't have much time left, so I just want to show you the basics of this. And we're going to get into the ideal setup in the next video. This is going to be just the, the, the basic setup. So what we do is we take that uranium cell and we put it in here, and it's immediately going to start producing power, and also heat. For every uranium cell that you have, it's going to produce four heat. And if you put four coolant cells around that, it will it, those will will dissipate all four of the heat. Now, the interesting thing is that you can you can actually put the uranium cells in here. You can dissipate the heat with the coolant, but this one actually this one is is dissipating one to the hull because it's up against the hull. And I'm not sure exactly. I'm gonna have to like I said, I'm gonna have to get figure all this out. And then it's dissipating into the hull, and then the hull dissipates into the water, which uh, we'll we'll go into the details later. Every time you add another uranium cell, right now it's going to produce one unit for every tick. So every second it's going to produce one power, one, one per unit of power. Um, or, or maybe it's five units of power. I'll have, to, I'll have to get the details. But anyway, if you put two next to each other, they actually each tick twice. So it, it, it basically quadruples your power output if you put two of them next to each other. But then also your heat increases and you're not able to actually dissipate the heat directly like this. So what we're going to have to do is create advanced heat dispersing units and, and all this other junk. But I wanted to show you guys just the basic setup and get it going. And then let's just check to see what kind of output we're getting. So when you right click it says starting new measurement. We right click again and we're getting zero EU. I'm not sure. Maybe that's because we're not. Let's see. Maybe it's we're testing the water or... Yeah, we must be testing the water. I'm not sure exactly how to do this. I think we have to have power coming out the top. So I'm also going to have to figure out a way to get power out of this, <laughs> this little box. So I'll do that offline, but I'm going to come back and we're going to do a little bit more of the advanced stuff, but the timer's about to go off. So you guys get the idea. We've got a pretty basic setup here, but we now have a nuclear reactor and this is going to give us as much power as we need. We're obviously going to have to use a transformer to go from high voltage to low voltage and be able to run all of our other stuff. But if we want to run like Tesla coils and all kinds of crazy stuff, we're going to need a lot of power and this is going to give it to us. So I'll probably get an additional two reactor chambers and, and just do a little bit of work offline to get set up. And then we'll talk about more advanced um, configurations for reactor chambers in the next next one. Um, I also wanted to just mention that Sharpshooter 370 really wanted an enchantment, an enchantment table, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to do some enchantment work. Um, the, uh, the, the lighting and, and those, the, the, the red power stuff is just an amazing mod, so you guys got to start playing with that. I really, really like that. Um, and then we'll get into the, the breeders and the stuff like that next time. But um, I also wanted to mention just for fun that I found an eight diamond vein. It's the biggest vein that I ever found because I went mining again because I was completely drained of resources with this thing. So uh, I went mining again. But anyway, if you guys like to give me a thumbs up, um, as usual, your comments are appreciated and we'll talk to you next time. Thank you.